Hey, what's up everybody? This is Stu Fuchs with part two of chord slides for ukulele. The first video, part one, focused on how to apply this technique to open chords. There were some tips for the left and the right hand. This video is going to be focused on how to apply this technique to bar chords. We're also going to be playing a song together later in this video that'll help you to exercise this. It's a really fun song from Jug Band Traditions. There's a free song sheet in my website store. There's a link in the description below. So if you find bar chords to be a little baffling, I'd recommend clicking here. It's a new video I just made about how to play bar chords. It's different than the video I made in 2012. The 2012 video I was focusing on how to access gravity and make your hand heavier, essentially focusing on non-effort in order to make your hand heavy. Now this video here is going to be about what you do have to apply effort to and getting into some of the ergonomics of what your exactly your hands and your knuckles need to do to make your bar chords easier. So click here to watch that if you're new to bar chords and you're going to find the rest of this video a lot easier. Now before we get started, 15 seconds, so many people have been asking me for a close-up of the Cocobolo Rosewood on this penal tenor ukulele. This is Nicaraguan Cocobolo Rosewood. You can see they put a strip of it in the back of the neck as well to help stabilize it because it's a really hard wood. And uh, check that out. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I love this instrument. So uh, I'll let you know when my own signature model is finished. They're designing it. We are designing it right now. All right, so if you've been hanging out with those principles of bar chords and you're feeling a little stronger in the hand, let's start to apply this to the song and also to the slides. These are the chords we're going to need for the song. You have E6, it's the fourth fret, and then relax. Now you add the second finger to the fifth fret of the third string to make C sharp 7, and relax. Next you play an F sharp 7 and relax. And then you play B7 and relax. There's three other chords we need but they're really easy. Good old E7, good old A7, ah, feels so good after all those bar chords, right? And now B flat diminished 7th. Same thing as A7 but you're just going to add the middle finger to the first fret. All right, so memorize those chords. You want to practice them in a way where you're going to give your hand a lot of breaks so you can cultivate playing and then relaxing. Let's talk about pivoting the thumb first. When I'm sliding, I'm not bringing the thumb with the finger and I'm not placing my thumb where the slide starts. I am instead putting my thumb where the slide is going to end up and pivoting towards it. So that's how that all works. Now, if you're patient and you're willing to sit with this for, might be a week, might be a month, but you will develop a very relaxed hand and a, and a hand that can move quickly from chord to chord if you play and then relax. Now slide and do that. You want to sit and have a real tangible physical connection with it. Put it in your muscle memory and relax in between. It's not only the effort, but it's the space in between the chords that are going to relax your hand and allow your fingers to reform quickly on the next. All right, so if you've got your chord chart and you're ready to join in, please strum along with me. And uh, you know, you're going to notice me putting the chord slides in from time to time. I do it entirely by feel. So you just do your thing, whatever feels right to you. I'll be doing a two bar intro and then we'll come in at the top of the page. So you ready? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, go. Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden surely must have shook that thing. Leaves stop falling, snakes stop crawling, gives Eve a diamond ring. Adam says to Eve, baby, just won't wait. 
till we get to the garden gate. Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden. Showed him up to shook that thing. Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden. Showed him up to shook that thing. Leaves stop falling. Snakes stop crawling. Gives Eve a diamond ring. Eve says to Adam, if you care for me. You'll eat the fruit from the forbidden tree. Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden. Showed him up to shook that thing. Yeah, Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden. Showed him up to shook that thing. And Eve stopped falling. Snakes start crawling. Gives Eve a diamond ring. Eve says to Adam, you go sleep in the crib. Adam says to Eve, Ben, give me back that rib. Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden showed him up to shook that thing. Well, Cain had Abel, Abel had Cain. Surely those two, they must have shook that thing. Mm, Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden showed him up to shook that thing. I mean it, show Shook that thing. Hey, hope you had fun. This is a great tune, right? Tons of fun, so share it with your friends. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can help me out by liking this video and also liking my Facebook page. On my Facebook page, I share all kinds of fun stuff, lessons and interesting stuff. So, hope to see you there and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Till then, wishing you all the best. Thanks.